Welcome to the Fireball Mullet YouTube channel. In today's video, we're gonna be tearing all the front accessories off the car. Well, the blower, yep. The, the alternator, the water pump, high mount AC, all that's coming out. Why am I doing that? Well, at the end of the video, I'm gonna tell you why I'm switching to the LSX Concepts. They have a new 2650 uh, flex drive that has a dedicated 10 rib belt. So that's gonna be super cool. Uh, it also, I'll be using a six rib on the rest of the accessories. So it'll be a dedicated blower belt, which I really kind of need. You know, this setup here, it's a Dirty Dingo, it's an eight rib, it's all on one belt. So it's a single belt. All of it drives off the accessories, including uh, the ZL1 crank pulley at the bottom. So it spaces everything out to the outside eight rib pulley. Oh. Uh, we're going to be pulling the water pump off as well because some of the bracketry, the bolts are kind of behind that. So we're going to make sure that we pull that water pump off. But I kind of have to pull that off anyway because the way this system is, it has spacers behind the water pump and the heads to basically push the water pump out so the pulley on the water pump will align with that outside 8-rib pulley set. So the water pump's got to come off. Uh, we're going to pull off the alternator, we're going to pull off the high mount air conditioner unit, the compressor, uh, the Sandin 508 I think it is, pulling all that off. We're going to be pulling the upper pulley off as well, as well as the crank balancer and we've got some new stuff that we're going to be putting on that, um, including an ATI super damper with a bolt on ring on that, so it's going to have a pulley. We're going to have to oversize that and uh we'll probably you know and we're also going to be increasing the top one to get more belt wrap so more on that on the install video but this video right here is all about prepping it getting it ready and kind of taking you through the process so uh let's go ahead and tear this bad boy out <laughs> all right so removing everything the first thing that we're going to go ahead we're going to start with the simple stuff the stuff that's closer to you we're going to go ahead and remove uh, the air intake tube and the filter. Give me that there. And let's go ahead. From there, I'll go ahead and use, uh, go ahead and remove the existing belt. So we'll go ahead and take that eight rib belt off. I think I'm using a Gates HD or something like that belt. It's the green belt, if you know what that is. That seems to be the best belt that's worked so far. But like I said, I really don't have much adjustability once it kind of stretches and then I normally keep a belt, an extra belt always in the, in the back, which kind of sucks. So um, anyway, that belt's getting out of here. <laughs> This is the belt that worked the best for this setup, but I don't know. It's out for Jerry still. All right, taking off that. And just like that, got the belt off. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that little alert, that little bell, so you make sure that you get notifications when my, when my videos come out, okay? <laughs> you gotta do that for your brother Stan, man. So uh, hit the like button and comment below uh, what setup you're running or if you have any questions about this setup, I'm happy. I try to keep up to comments as much as possible. So make sure you comment below. Pop that out like so. All right, let's go ahead, focus our attention to the alternator. It's just a couple of bolts here on the ears of it, if you will. All right, go ahead. the negative so we'll take those two bolts out go ahead disconnect your battery as well and for me I went ahead and did that and then also there's a single wire connector you just want to disconnect as well power wire back here that all right I'm just gonna unbolt all this oh actually I'm gonna have to get a puller pull this pulley off and then I'll just go ahead and unbolt that off I'll bring you guys back once we get all that set. 
All right, got a little puller set up here. Go ahead. There we go. Bam. And that's how we do it. All right, the next thing I'm gonna go ahead and do, and uh, there's three bolts here. I need to go ahead and take those off and disconnect the power steering lines and take this off. And then it's just as simple as a couple bolts here and this whole bracket assembly here will come off and then we're done uninstalling that. So bring you guys back here in a minute. All right, got a couple of the lines off. This is basically the stock line I used, uh, the stock third gen line that I ended up tweaking a little bit to make this work. And, uh, but it's just two more bolts here get the power steering and then we can pull this bracket off and it just comes out like that all right now I'm gonna go ahead unbolt these and pull this bracket off and that'll be everything on the right side for the alternator and power steering pump go ahead and pull the bracket for the high mount the current one that I have <clears throat> we're gonna go ahead and pull that off and uh, I'm gonna try to keep all this intact and just kind of lay this compressor over that way I can kind of remove everything and then I can just put it back in when I get the other bracket on so we'll see how that works out so this is basically one two three four bolts uh, that bolt on the side of it or actually one down here on the bottom. All right, go ahead. Got the front part of the bracket off here. Got the back bracket, but we can't take this off until we take the water pump off. Go ahead, there's a couple bolts here, one on the bottom. Let's go ahead and remove the AC. That's kind of the next step. Like so. There we go. Got a couple spacers. Try to keep. And that's the AC. Go ahead, pull the water pump off. Go ahead and get that off, and that should be it. All right. I'll go ahead and get the final two bolts of the bracket here. All right, so got everything off. Just kind of got the water, water pump off, left the hoses on right here because all you really got to do is bolt the stuff on here. So I think we're fine out here. Oh, I do have to pull the stock Z01 pulley off so I know I've got to do that still but I'm gonna do that once I get the car in the air I wanted to take care of everything I could before I got the car up oh and just by the way looking at the new stuff this is gonna be the mount where the new tensioner goes and again it goes where the AC normally goes which goes in just like this and he also engineered it for you guys that are running like me around the small block Chevy clamshells uh, to be able to get around those clamshells. So, in my case, let's just see quickly. Yes, sir. It looks like 
we got a winner. Yep, winner, winner, chicken dinner. There it is right there. Very cool. So that's gonna be during the installation right there. All right, we're gonna go ahead and uh, pull the upper pulley off. It's got, it looks like 10, I think these are 10 screws here. screws out this should just pop off just compare those two it's a big difference 10 rib 8 rib you can see this is much larger as well All right, let's talk a little bit about why I'm switching this up. So it's been, you know, it's been a minute. It's been a little over, I guess, I don't know, it's been about a year and eight months, maybe something like that, I think, since I've had the blower on the car. Um, I ran it LS3 NA for a while, uh, for maybe three or four years, probably three years before that. Then I put the blower on it. Um, but for the most part, it's been streetable. But as soon as you start getting into it over time, you know, a few months, the belt starts to stretch and stretch. And then after that, there's just really nothing else to do with it but replace the belt. So, you know, I'm just going through belts maybe every four months maybe. And so that's just because the way this system is designed, which is my problem number one, it's only one point of adjustability, which it basically, it has a pulley, the upper pulley, the Eiler pulley, I guess, has like, you know different settings where you could basically move the pulley well that's a little bit too coarse grain for me i need something a little bit more fine grain adjustability and so with greg's setup at lsx concepts man it's got three different adjustable points to it right and so there's a couple coarse adjustments and then there's a fine adjustment so hey if it loosens up you can adjust it up and and you're good to go right so very cool stuff and I, I love that about it. So that's kind of the first problem that I have with it. The second problem is honestly, even though it's an eight rib belt, it, the, the system, and if you look at GM, and Greg talks a lot about this, he's got a couple of blogs on LSX Concepts that kind of goes deeper into this, but the dedicated single belt really, um, you know, is not a very good design because the accessories itself only require like 70 to 90 pounds of tension they can go up to like 120 pounds or something like that with a six rib belt probably quite a bit more with the eight rib belt but then the tension that you have to put on the blower belt which is quite a bit more so you get up into 200 pounds if you can um, so the more tension you put on that is harder on the rest of the accessory you know there's a big shock there so you know that's that's one of the reasons why and you know gm they did a dedicated blower belt for a reason they spent millions of dollars probably in engineering and figured this out so i think it's fine for guys that just run a single belt street car you know you're probably going to be okay uh, but you know i would say that if you can look at the lsx concept setup with the dedicated blower belt he's got the the hd race drive there as well that's a rigid tension set and that's good for cars, let's say blowers up to seven, uh, probably a thousand horsepower, right? When you get over a thousand horsepower, that's where this flex drive, the 2650, and he calls it the 2650 flex drive because normally that's your big Kong blowers, your big ported, you know, all your big blowers that are running um, off that platform. And so those actually need some type of flexibility when you're getting off of it after a big, so, it's kind of a hybrid the flex drive is kind of a hybrid setup where it has a rigid tensioner but it also will allow it to slip if it needs to during violent pulls so that's why a lot of the guys and that i'm i'm not at that horsepower level um but i definitely you know i wanted to try the setup and this is a very similar setup um in a third gen that you may see so i think it's going to be a good test case for greg and lsx concepts and for all you third gen or all you F body guys, you know, LS, you know, 
you got your LSA or, or your big blowers in there, man, this is going to be a good illustration um, of how that works. And I'll go over more of that in the next video.